Welcome back to the channel. This is a simple video showing you how you transfer funds between two wallets. Okay, so basically, I thought about doing it because I was going to transfer funds from this wallet to another wallet that I'm not going to be connecting to any website. It's going to be a holding wallet, so a holder wallet. That's what I'm going to be doing with that. And I just wanted to show you guys that it's simple to move funds between two wallets as long as you don't use them in the same airdrop that you are going to be farming so if i'm farming hamster these two wallets should not be connected to hamster because i'll be regarded as a civil they will think it's one personal computer trying to finesse the system so i'm going to be transferring funds from this wallet and i'm going to be moving my not coin from this wallet to this other wallet i call it hodo bag and this way i'm going to be sending my funds so i'm going to just click here on the address <laughs> click there then go back to the occ wallet so this is where my not coin is and i'm going to click on send click on send then i'm going to paste the address here and for this case we don't need a comment or a memo a memo or a tag we don't need it because we are just sending between two wallets so i'm going to click on continue and click here to choose the coin that you're sending and i'm sending not and for example i'm first going to send 10 not coin okay around 15 cents so click on continue the blue button and they will show me i'm sending from this wallet i'm sending to this address the amount and the cents so i'm going to be burning only 14 cents just to do this test transaction so click on confirm and send i'm going to put in my fingerprints <laughs> and showing done so if you ever receive such nfts these are spam or scam nfts do not click in them they're just there to steal your not coin as you can see not not reward holder these are scams so let us go back let us go check this wallet if at all we receive the note coin yes it has arrived as you can see here turn sorry not turn not coin that means yeah we can easily now go and send the entire like amount because i want to send let me copy this let me copy again the address by clicking here <laughs> then go back to OCC wallet click on send paste the address here then click on continue and i'm going to be sending around yes yeah i'm going to be sending i want to remain with 1000 this is what is going to be remaining so click continue we are as always they show you here the wallet that you're sending from and the address that you're sending to the amount and the gas fees and the funny thing they are going to charge me only 0 0.09 yet on the other small transaction they charged me 14 cents so click on confirm and send i put in my fingerprints <laughs> done so let's go back click on wallet 
let's go in this hodo wallet and we wait for some few minutes for the transaction to go through it's going to be processing let's go check the OCC wallet the transaction has not yet gone through it has gone through let us go check the hodo wallet oh now it's here so i can easily now keep this wallet safe i'm not going to be connecting it to any website it's going to be my holdo wallet so i'm going to be holding tokens in this wallet tokens that i don't want to sell at the moment then i, I would like i will also send some ton gas fees because this is what they use when you are making any kind of transaction like sending swapping stuff like that staking so you need to be having some ton coin in this wallet to make all those transactions as you have seen in this occ wallet okay so i had some a few wallets here that i need to be having to make all that possible so i'm just going to be using this wallet for some stuff that i wanted to do that's why i moved some funds out to make sure i'm safe in case the wallet is to get compromised my wallets like my assets are in a safer wallet that i'm not connecting to any website so yeah that's it that's what i wanted to let you know and also remember the sibo like attacks that i told you so let's say i'm not supposed not even like saying if i'm to use this wallet on hamster and i also use the this wallet if i use these two wallets on hamster they may flag me as a sibo they will say the owner of this wallet is the same as this one so he's trying to finesse the system and they may close me out of the airdrop so make sure if you have two accounts or three accounts you don't connect wallets that have ever interacted with each other okay if wallet a b c once interacted you may you you are likely to be considered as a shibo so make sure these wallets have never interacted with each other on the blockchain so for now i can never use this wallet and this in the same airdrop because i have like carried out in like transactions between these two wallets peace i'll see you in the next video